Marxism aims to revolutionize the concept of work through creating a classless society. Marx believed in three principles. First, economic determinism. Economic determinism means to say that every aspect of our life is determined by economy. Second is dialectical materialism. Friends, dialectism or the kind of philosophy was uh, propounded by Hegel, the German philosopher. And in the initial phase of Marxism, this philosopher really had a great influence on Marxism. And uh, he talks about that opposite ideas uh, can lead to some newer knowledge. And the third thing is class struggle. I would like to say that uh, everywhere we read in the books that Marx and his friend Angel, they found that history is nothing. It is not the struggle of the dynasties, but uh, mass uh, struggle or class struggle. That if one class, uh, the poor class struggle with the rich class. And uh, these three philosophies, these three things, these three theories explain everything which is we find in the Marxist philosophy. Friends, two terms which are very famous in English vocabulary these days, and that is, one is the bourgeois, the dominant class who controls and own the means of production, the rich people, the owners of the factories, etc. And the second word is the proletariat. It means the subordinate class who don't own and control the means of production, the working class. Today, you'll be surprised that the bank employees, teachers, lecturers, I'm not simply talking about all the uh, labor class people, but all these people who don't uh, have control on their own wishes and how should they work. They all come in the category of proletariat. Marx collaborated with Friedrich Engel. Their theories and ideologies can be found within three published works. I name them one by one. First is the Communist Manifesto. The second is Preface to the Contribution to the Critique of Political Economy. It was published in 1899. And the third one, the most famous is Das Capital. This book was published in 1867. Friends, as I earlier said, that Marx views history as a class struggle. 